friends, it's me Fenella and in this video I'm going to take you along with me while I paint this piece. I'm not sure if you are picking up the sound of music. My neighbors are playing music and I just get yell at them and say, Stop! I'm filming, please! I know, I know, I am covering my painting with a towel but do we care? No, that's what I think so. <laughs> and I am sure that post-production fan has already added the photo of this painting on the thumbnail. And you've already seen this painting somewhere on my Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. But we're gonna pretend that you're going to be surprised at the end, okay? <laughs> I am excited to show you how I painted this one. I tried a semi-different kind of technique than what I usually do. I'll stop talking for the intro and let's head on to the video. Okay, it's time for voiceover fan to take over. <laughs> and as usual, I am using gouache on a canvas board. And a while ago, I told you that I tried a new painting technique. I meant I tried to paint with blending the dark and the light colors on the first stage because if you have watched my previous art video you'll know that what I usually do is I color block everything on the first stage I just lay on the base colors and then when everything is semi-dry that's the time that I blend the darks and the light And I realized that what I'm doing now is a good technique whenever I want my paintings to look like it is really blended. Because sometimes I feel like I want to paint something that doesn't look blended or it does look very textured and rough. And sometimes like this one, I want it to look more blended than usual. I know that this is not a smooth painting per se, but it's more than what I used to do. <laughs> and yes, I do sketch my paintings with pencil even when it's on canvas board. Many painters don't do that. I don't. I can't. And it also helps me at the final part wherein I re-outline everything with pencil because as you know I still love that Victorian children's book illustration feel even with my canvas paintings <laughs> so anyway I know that I tried to finish this whole piece in one sitting but I just I just can't I really work slowly but I think I had a good progress with the painting um, let me show you what I was able to do so anyway here is the painting so far I am done with all the leaves and the water lilies but I will be adding details with this tomorrow but I really need to rest because my arms are dead, my brain is dead, my will to move on, to move forward with this painting is dead. <laughs> so I'll be sleeping for a little while. It's already 3.30 in the morning and hopefully tomorrow I feel recharged and motivated to continue this painting and then we'll see the end result of this whole shenanigan. Good night. Oh my god, mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, it's the morning. It's another day in the workroom and I am excited for the new challenge. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, I realized that with gouache, it's better to do it at least for two days, if that even makes sense, because the colors do dry on a different way <laughs> I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain and it gives me more ideas on what to do for the finishing touches if I let it dry first so yeah basically I'll just add the 
paints for the water part and more details like the veins on the leaves, the petals, the stars of course, and the sparkles because I can't paint anything without sparkles. <laughs> And on my previous video, I asked you to tell me what to talk about whenever I have nothing to say about the painting anymore. And this is this segment. <laughs> Some of you asked me how I keep being motivated during this weird time and the answer for that is I, I really don't understand because I know that most of the artists or most of my friends at least that who are artists don't have motivation to do anything creative because they are stuck at home, they, they feel very uninspired but I am a home girl. <laughs> uh, I love staying inside, I love staying indoors, and this quarantine just gave me all the excuses for me to stay at home and focus on doing art. That's why I've been posting more and more and more videos than I usually do because I have more time now. I can focus on my ideas, I don't have to do errands outside. So yeah, but I, I do really miss going outside and meeting my friends. Uh, I only started going to art events and meeting artists, local artists, last year and this happened so that's a bummer. But when it comes to motivation, I it's weird I know but I'm more motivated now that I am stuck at home. <laughs> and if you're not, then don't be sad about it. Don't force yourself to create if you don't feel like creating. Just wait for it. It'll turn out well. See? And message me if you want to talk about it because it's important to have someone to turn to whenever you're not motivated. Ciao! This is the whole painting! I am actually happy. So if you have followed me on my social medias, I'm quite sure that you've already noticed that I usually use warm colors for my paintings and I am happy that I am actually able to create one with cooler tone. <laughs> anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of my painting. Keep it keep it cute and kind. Um you can tell me what I can improve next, but I am a fragile person, okay? <laughs> And if you have any suggestions or requests for me to paint, um, don't be shy to comment them down below or message me on my socials which are linked down below. You know the drill. And if you like this video, which I hope you did, don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe on my channel. I upload more than what I used to. <laughs> anyway, I think that's it. I am very very happy with this painting and I hope that you are too. Stay safe, be kind to one another, and as always, be the magic the world needs. <laughs> Bye!